Okay, that was the first run through. Um, James, James, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, so he hasn't he through? hasn't unmuted himself yet. It's okay. <clears throat> He'll get to it as long as James can hear me. Uh, we're going to have the second run through. And uh, we're going to ask you to give a comment or two about the image and a score of A, B, or C. Um, are you ready, James? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, I give it an A. I, I like it. It's uh, well composed. Well done. It's a good shot. I give it an A. B. I get that an A. Well composed. It's a great image. B. B. Interesting. B. Any comments? Any comments on it, James? Good, good expression. It captured. Captured a good expression. Mm -hmm. Well composed. Could you perhaps give us just a little bit more? Oh yeah. All right. Okay. I didn't I didn't know how quickly you wanted to move along. Uh I'd give this an A. Uh great moment. Well, you know, good composition, well composed. Colors good. Uh Strong image, strong image. A, I give this an A, good moment. Good moment, just the, the little bit of color adds to it, it brings it out, gives it a little more dimension. B, uh, it's a good picture. I just don't think it's one of the strongest ones. B, I, I like this. This is interesting. It's a lot of a lot of different things going on. The junction box is really interesting. The uh, you know the the light the uh, electrical panel. I think that's interesting. A, I give this an A. Good composition, and got a good moment with the birds coming through. That adds to the picture. It gives it a little more dimension. I'd, I'd give this an A because one thing I've found, I've photographed flags and I found there's so many interesting things that they get into and this happens to be one of them. It's interesting too, there's it's ragged up on the uh, left hand, uh, on the stripe, on the red stripe. A, I give this an A. A. Uh, it's it's soothing. I'm I'm looking at it. It's, it's a soothing picture. Uh, just enough color. It's reads. You know what it is, and uh, it's well done.
A, it's a good strong image. Good expression. And uh, just it's, it's not overdone as far as color. I give this a C. I just don't see this. Not enough bringing me to a, a strong point within the picture. Also, C. I just don't feel the strength in this. I'd give this a B. There's, it's just enough color. It's uh, it's got movement to it. Give this a B. I like this. I'd I'd give this. I'd I'd give this an A. Uh, Parallel architecture or opposing architectures, two di distinct styles, really three when you look at it. Interesting picture. I'll give this a B. Uh, could have opened it up a little bit more, I think, in the printing. It looks like there's enough there to have opened it up. See, uh, I don't really see anything happening here, but the textures, and that's that's not the strongest point. It looks like a slightly out of focus, also. I give this an A. This works. There's a lot of motion to it. Uh, good, good composition of the two buildings with the opening, the way it's formed. I show up also. It's something difficult to get with a picture like this, an architectural picture like this. Hey. Nice moment. I'd give this an A. Father and child. Well composed. Um, all the elements work in this. I'd give this. I'd go with an A. It's it's interest interesting the reflections. There's a, a lot of different. It's like either faces of animals, but it's 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 well composed. It's well done. Interesting reflections. I'd give this a B. I, I, it's strong, but not strong enough for an A. B. Interesting doorway. There's a lot of tech, nice textures and uh, minimum uh, good detail. Good detail. I'll give this a B. It's 
It's interesting, but it's not strong enough to give it an A. I, yeah, a B. I'll give this an A. There's a lot going on. Good moment on the uh, gentleman on the right. And uh, it's good. He's he's in the picture just the And there's so much else going with uh, the espresso machines. It's I'll give this an a interesting picture. It's good. I like uh, the kids looking on and the walrus, obviously, uh, looking at them and they're looking back. The expression on the mother's face. A lot going on. I'll give this a B. Uh, interesting shadows, but uh, not, not not strong enough for A. I give this an A. Striking, good good reflection, good composition. And just enough color, subtle enough, uh, and this subtly goes along with the uh, reflection. Both, both the actual picture above and the reflection are very sharp. I give this a B. Um, it's in one sense, it's too much going on. Uh, uh, B. I'd give this a C. I don't see any strengths here. I give this a B. This is an interesting angle. This is something from above. A lot of times you don't see uh, pictures like this in groupings from above. I give it a B. I give this a B. Um, I just I guess maybe I've seen this many times before and um, it's yeah a B good use of the day it was a cloud overcast day give this a B very interesting cat tie. I give this a B. Um, strong, it's, it's composed well. That's the one thing I can say. It's not centered. It's composed well. Your eye travels to it, to the mountains. I give this a B. It's it's interesting, but I think that um, it could have been composed a little bit differently to to show a little bit more of what what he's doing. It, it, I'm taking it that it's a ship. 
that he's uh, working on. B, uh, well composed, uh, not, not too overdone. Um, your eye, your eye moves with this. I, li I like it. Yeah, a B. I give this a B. It's it's a good composition, uh, just enough color, and the background you, you background is a good separation. Tensions brought to him very clearly, and the sign and the signage, of course. Uh, C, I, I don't quite understand this one. It's not, it's not, it's not clear, clear enough what, what it's supposed to be. See images within, but I don't know. They, I can't connect them. B. Good composition. Nice moment. Good print. I give this a B. It's good, good use of color. Uh, well composed. I'll give this an A. It's a good portrait, good moment. Quite a good moment. And again, separated from the background, which brings her out even more. And a nice gesture with the hand. I'll give this a B. Uh, good print. Composition is good. B. Um, be beautiful flower or flowers. A little hard to tell, but uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I, I like it. I like it. Strong B. C. Uh, again, I don't quite understand what's going on here. What what what, what you're focused on? I don't, I don't I don't see it. I'd give this an A. Uh, it, it shows something. You know, something's going on. You know, an activity. Um, it, it it works. It works. Uh, the composition is good, and to, and you have two 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 situations within there and uh, an environment. It's a B. It's, it's a nice portrait, but it, it doesn't jump out at me as far as uh, being an extraordinary portrait.
I like there's some I like I like reflections I mean, and, and interesting reflections. There's a lot going on here. Obviously, been it's done. It looks like it's done in a revolving door, uh, but there's a lot going on. You, you've got city, you've got people, you've got motion. Give it an A. Give it an A. B. Um, not not enough movement. Beautiful color, um, composed somewhat well, but uh, it's, it's it's static, static. B. Uh, it's nice with the mist. Among the uh, the, the uh, stalks sticking up in the water, very simple, very nice, subtle in color. I give this an A. There's movement to this. There's there's, there's lines going in different directions. The trees add to it. One has leaves, one's without. I would give this, I give this a B. Uh, good, 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 well composed. Um, good, good catch with the lighting, with the shadow cutting across. I give this an A. Nice moment. It's well composed. Uh, hello. I give this a B. It's interesting, but not strong enough as far as uh, it doesn't stand out. I'd, I'd give this an A. It's, it's, this is well done. Uh, good expression on the animal. Uh, well composed. Good color. I'd give this an A. Good expressions. A good moment, well lit, uh, with natural lighting, actually. A good, good moment. I, I'd give this a B. It's, this is good composition. This is well, co the colors are, are put together, are aligned, comp composed well. I give this an A, good use of space, good moment. Good print. I give this a B. Well composed. And the catch is good, the woman in the window in the lower right. B. 
B. It's a nice postcard photo. I don't see anything really outstanding here. Give this a B. It's the composition. I could see a little more. I would like to see a little more of her face, but I like the way it's uh, composed. Subtle, uh, yet it's just strong in, in, in the image itself. Give this a B. It's well composed. Good print. This is a tough lighting situation. Uh, I give this an A. Definitely give this an A. Good moment. Uh, a lot of feeling here. A. Good moment. Give this a B. Well composed. B. Uh, interesting, but I'm, I'm still, still not as strong as some of your other pictures. What was the score of the one before? Number 60. Five. B. Oh, this this was an A. You gave that an A. Say again. You gave that an A. I gave the one before it an A. Oh, I thought you said A for this too. Okay, sorry. Chuck, you have to give it two star. Okay. Can you go to the one before? No, not that one. The one before that. The, the one, two before this one, the couple. That's an A. You said this one was a B. Yeah. No, when something is off, he's seeing them in the in not at the same time we're seeing them. Okay, this one. This, this is number 62. This received. A B. Mm -hmm. You gave a B to this. Right. You gave an A to this couple. Right. A B to the accordion. And a B to the three faces. Yeah. And now we go to the next one. I'll give that a B. It's a nice picture. It's it's well composed. Hmm. I'll give this a B. It's a nice picture. Well, you know, again, it's a, it's a good print. And uh Good, good crop. I give this an A. It's a good moment. It's in, it's just the right amount of elements. It's, it's a good picture. Subtle in color. Give this an A. This is this is interesting. Of 
clever. I give this a B. It's a uh, good composition. Um, I give this an A. This is. <laughs> I'll tell you a story one day. This this works. You've got a number of elements involved, and they all stand out. You've got the clouds. You've got the subtle background. You've got the the sun, moon, and you've got water. You've got many things going on here. Give this a B. Uh, good use of color against the snow. I give this an A. Good expression, good moment. Uh, like the way it's composed, it's separated from the background. It comes. It comes to you. Be uh, interesting, but um, not not st strong in uh, maybe the angle. Hard to say. I give it a B. Give this a A again. Simplicity. There's a number of things going on within the scene. The sky, the clouds, uh, uh, the silhouetted buildings. I give this an A. It's simple and subtle. I can give this an A. A number of things going on. The expression of the gentleman taking a cell phone picture on the right, the drama, uh, the background. Looks like Washington Square Park. Good moment. Okay, I give this an A. Many elements going on in the sky, uh, the sunshine and the uh, foreground on on the uh, on the land, the tree and the uh, house in the background, it's, it, and it moves. It's, there's motion to it. A. A lot going on and good expressions. And um, good good situation. Expression on the child, expression on the woman and what they're doing. I give this a B. It's it's well composed, color's good. I give this a B. It's a good expression. I would have liked to see more of him and you know what he's actually doing good expression
give this an A. Again, a lot of going. Lines really work on this. Yeah. A lot of, again, a lot of elements going on. The sky, the mountains in the background, uh, the grove of trees, uh, the lines going toward the field of whatever that is in the field, in the middle of the picture. Many elements, well done. No, great time of evening. I give this an A. It's a nice, it's a nice mood. I like the mood of this. I give this an A. Good expression. Uh, good moment on the bass, on the uh, cello. I'm sorry. Uh, good composition from the angle it was taken. Good picture, good, good entertainment picture. I have 35. That's what I have. Same here. Okay. All right, James. Uh, we're now going to go through the images for the third time. And we're going to ask you to pick out from all the A's, the A's only, those which you think are really great and deserve honors. So there are 35 images. Do you want to go through them all first, or do you want to go through singly and tell us whether you think it deserves honors or not? Uh, how many do I have to narrow it down? What, in other words, There's what I feel is this... There are 35. Right. You can pick as many or as few as you want that are really great. All right. We'll go through them again. We'll go through them quickly. Yeah, if that's is that easier for you? No, just can you just tell us honors or not? I'm sorry. Say again. Can you? Can you? Do you want to see them all first, or do you want to go through one at a time and tell us which have honors and which don't? Uh. Yeah. All right. I guess go through them all, and uh, you know okay. I'll. And okay, in other words, what you're what you're saying is go through each one and give a comment or just say this is the no, strongest no one. We just we'll we'll show you all 35 and then we'll go through right. them again and you can pick out the honors that you want to award. All right. Okay, those are the 35. Okay. <laughs> Chuck, I believe my picture, Chuck, I believe my picture of a Tanzanian woman also got an A. Isn't that this one? That one? Larry? Yes, I didn't see it in the run through. A portion of it went through very quickly. Okay. So now we'll go through uh, again, James, and we'll ask you which ones you want to award honors to. All right. You can say yes or no. Yes. That's number one. No. Yes. Number seven.
No. 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 Yes. Number 14. No. Yes. That's number 21. Yes. 22. No. Yes. Twenty seven. Yes. Twenty eight. No. Yes. Forty three. No. Yes. Forty nine. No. Yes. That's number 72. That's number 54. 54. 54. Okay. Yes. Is that a yes? Yes, yes. Thank you. Number 56. Yes. 57. Yes. Um, Fifty nine. Yes. Number sixty four. No. Yes. Yes. That's number 72. Yes. 74. Uh, yes. 76. No. No. Yes. Seventy 
Yes. 82. No. Yes. That's number 84. The 20, 21 honors. Same here. Okay. All right, James, last last task. You've awarded uh, 21 honors. From those 21, you have to pick one image of the month. Okay. Okay. I'll put, I'll put them all up on the light table so you can see overall. So I have to pick one? One out of all of these, yes. All right. Hmm. All right. Uh, I think it's uh, the the one I, I just keep coming back. There's two I keep coming to. One is of the uh, two little girls, one looking at a cell phone, and then the other one is the couple. Huh. I would say the couple. For me, the couple. That's number 64. Yeah. Okay. So we're now going to reveal the winners. We'll go over and announce the people who received A's. Okay, this is number three, Elements by Madeline Barbara. Madeline, any comments? Madeline, if you're still here, unmute yourself. Okay, let's move on. Number eight. Blizzard 2016 by Alvin Davis. Alvin? No? Alvin, you have to unmute yourself. <clears throat> That's just a combination of two pictures. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. Next. Creating ghosts. A for Framed by Christine Doyle. Yeah, hi. This was taken on a, a club field trip to uh, Gandhi State Park in Queens, and the birds were very cooperative that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And A for Freedom by Sonia Durante. I took that at a, uh, a Veterans Memorial. It was at night, and I just liked the way the flag was kind of waving in, in the wind. Okay, and A for Falling Colors by Julie Forenbach. Well, being up in the country in the wind, in the 
fall and winter, I get a lot of trees to practice on. <laughs> okay, next, an A for Hidden Gem by Carlton Johnson. Yes, this was taken in Chicago uh, on, around Labor Day. Just walking the streets, Chicago. Okay, nice. An A for Monster One by Natalie Manzino. Uh, I took this in Santiago. I just liked all the faces and the reflection in the building. Okay, an A for Phragmites by Tom Quackenbush. I love the mood of the water. This is looking over Great South Bay just after a storm. And the storm had ended, but the fog was still there. And this just seemed very peaceful and very calming after a stormy day. Okay, next. An A for Sidewalk Razor Cut by Jay Bitkower. Uh, yeah, I was taking a walk in Hanoi and I came upon this barber shop in the middle of the sidewalk and I shot him. Okay, next, the next A, Rooftop in Iceland by Nicole Dasso. He isn't here. Okay, next is uh, an A for Night on a Beach by Paula Paterniti. I don't think I saw her either tonight. Okay. An A for Pure Joy by Marlene Schoenbrunn. So you're right, James. It was taken in Washington Square Park. And uh, there's always tons of photographs to take there. And I just really enjoy seeing them have such fun. Yeah. Okay, the next A, Solitude, to Dudley Slater. Yeah, I just enjoyed the sense of emotion and the interplay with the, the trees and the clouds. And of course, the lighting was uh, very special. And the final A, Tavern, by Peggy Winkleman. Uh, so this was taken in my local town, and this couple was caught in the headlights. Okay, we'll now move along to the A's with honors. <clears throat> the first one is Brigitte Squadron, by Evelyn Appel. Yes, in the Galapagos, on the deck of the boat against the sun. Okay, A with honors. We're at the bus stop by Karen Corrigan. Uh, yes, good evening. I thought the morning light was very... Uh, I just like the morning light and, and the shadows, and, and I was also waiting for the bus. <laughs> A with honors for Fisherman by Florence Foreman. Florence, unmute yourself. Are you there, Florence? She's okay. here. She is here and she unmuted herself, but I'm I'm not sure why we can't hear her. Okay. Moving along. A with honors. East Side, New York City by Jeff Langford. He isn't here. A with honors. Bonding by Charles Levin. Yeah, James got this exactly right. It's a father son, and uh, it's uh, they're sitting at the end of Lake Merritt in Oakland, and the kids looking out on this scene. Okay, and A with honors, Buongiorno, by Paula Paterniti. She isn't here. 
by the way, uh, uh, Florence Foreman is coming back. She's she Florence Foreman said one of her images was left out. She put it in the chat. They, I, I looked. They're both there. Both her images are there. Okay. Okay. Next. A with others. Take my picture. By Elena Pierpont. Yeah, that was at the zoo. And <clears throat> as this mother and two kids were approaching, the hippo came right up to the window and to me was saying, take my picture. Okay. A with honors. Michelle by Evelina Pell. My granddaughter when she was 10, a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Um, A with honors, Reflection by Karen Corrigan. Uh, hi, thank you. Uh, my task for my walkabout that day was uh, shooting uh, Reflections, and this was one I liked, especially, especially liked. I like it, too. Okay, A with honors. Um, um, what is this? Sonia. 54, okay. Uh, Sunscape by Sonia Durante. Hi, that was taken at sunset uh, at Jones Beach. Lawrence Foreman, A with honors, woof. <laughs> Any comments, Florence? No. Now she's uh, muted again. Okay, next. A with honors, The Wonder of the New by Richard Gold. Uh, that was taken at also at an Aldrich Town Zoo, and I saw these two girls. I I got down on my knees so I get to be that that their level, and there are also a lot of people around, most of which I managed to blur out. But uh, with this with the light streaming onto this one on the left, um, I just thought it was uh, an unusual opportunity, so I I took the picture. Okay, A with honors, main. Fog by Jill Grace. Is Jill with us tonight? Are you talking about Jill? Oh, yes. sorry, I had the wrong thing on. <laughs> um, it was in, in Maine on a foggy morning uh, at the Rockland Breakwater Lighthouse, and I just love the moodiness of it. Okay. A with honors. Uh-oh, by Elena Pierpont. This was, um, I like photographing street art, and this woman saw me taking the picture, and she walked down to closer to where I was standing, and I don't know if this was her son or a friend or whatever, but he went across the street, and he made that face and pose, and, and uh, I was lucky enough to get it. Okay. A with honors. Red Sun by Tom Quackenbush. This is sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean after a particularly stormy night, a lot of thunderstorms, and the sea was still angry, but I saw the hope in the sun rising and the day did clear. And by the way, that was the color of the sun. I adjusted it very little. Okay, A with honors for Tanzanian Woman by Larry Rubin. Um, as the judge said, you, you just want to get to know this woman. You just just want to identify with her on a human, the most human and personal level. So it's taken in Tanzania um, at a school where a bunch of us had went to help them build a library. But it's just it's about her face and her openness and her connectedness with me as the photographer that was deeply moving. A with honors. Or I guess it's Sunset by Mike Schleif. 
Yeah, hi. Uh, this was taken at one of our Labor Day picnics, and uh, I just felt that the the sun uh, sunset was so br uh, beautiful, and the clouds just worked its worked their way in. Thank you. A with honors for Joyful by Alice Soma. Hi, this was taken in, in an open market in Florida recently. This little girl was just overjoyed with having her face painted and she her expression was just captivating and the clown was very happy to be working on her and very intense. And I, I just couldn't, I, I stood for a while and took a number of pictures of her. She was just adorable. Okay, A with honors. Lavender Fields Moonrise by Laura Toledo. Oh. That was the moonrise in uh, in 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 the lavender field, and it was a wonderful experience uh, seeing it. So I do oh. that. A, A with honors. Yo Yo Engaged by Julie Wask. Oh, yeah, I was at a Tanglewood rehearsal a couple of years ago, and I was really excited to see Yo Yoma that close. It was really fun. Okay. And the image of the month. Tango Embrace by Charles Levin. Uh, yeah, this is... Um... A couple dancing tango. I shot this last year at the Essex Street Market at a little dance event they had there. Okay, let's uh, stop sharing. Go back to see everybody. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, I'd like to thank our judge, James Cummins. Uh, good job. Thank you. Uh, and I'd like to thank everybody who entered images. Thank you for competing tonight. Uh, we have